Assalamu alaikum friends. Zainab was the eldest daughter of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and Khadija, may Allah be pleased with her. She was born 10 years before the prophethood. Like other children of noble Arabs, she was given to a wet nurse and when she had her share of that, the house of her parents embraced her with great love and affection. Being the eldest, she was a great help to her mother and a younger siblings. When she was old enough for marriage, Abu Al-As, who was the son of Khadija's sister, Hala bint Qawailid, asked for her hand in marriage. He was a prosperous merchant and was considered an important person in Mecca. Zainab and Abu Al-As got married and had two children, a boy named Ali who died in childhood and a girl named Umama. As a trader, Abu al-As traveled a lot. When he was on one such journey, his father-in-law, Muhammad peace be upon him, was commissioned as a prophet. Zainab followed her father and embraced Islam. When her husband came back from his journey, she told him of what had happened while he was away. Abu al-As knew the Prophet's household very well. He used to visit them often before his marriage to Zainab. He was very close to his aunt Khadija, who treated him like her son. But he refused to embrace Islam, fearing that his people may claim that he gave up their ancestral deities to please his wife. When Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, started preaching Islam openly, Abu Lahab ordered his sons to divorce their wives, Um Kultum and Ruqayya, the daughters of the Prophet, peace be upon him as a means to persecute the Prophet peace be upon him. Similarly, the Quraysh pressured Abu al-As to divorce Zainab, saying they would give him any woman he liked in exchange. However, though Abu al-As didn't become a Muslim, he replied that he did not want any other woman and remained with Zainab. When the Prophet peace be upon him was given the order to migrate to Medina, Zainab stayed with her husband in Mecca. Two years after the Hijra, the Muslims fought the Quraysh in the Battle of Badr. Zainab was in an undeniable position in Mecca. Her husband was going on a war against her father. Despite being few in number, the Muslims were victorious. Abu al-As was among the captives of war. Zainab did not own anything of much value that she could send as ransom for her husband. So she sent the necklace her mother Khadija gave her on her wedding day as a ransom. As soon as the Prophet, peace be upon him, saw his beloved wife's necklace, he could not hold back his tears. He, peace be upon him, sent Abu al-As back to Mecca without taking any ransom on the condition that he sent Zainab to Medina. Abu al-As kept his promise and prepared to send Zainab to Medina. But the Quraysh stopped her on her way and returned her back to Mecca. During this time, she suffered a miscarriage. Abu al-As took care of her until she regained her strength and secretly sent her to Medina in the company of his brother. A couple of years later, a group of Muslims led by Zayd bin Harith accosted a caravan coming from Syria and took some captives. Abu al-As was in the caravan. However, he was able to escape and reach the house of his wife Zainab in Medina at night. As dawn approached and the Muslims finished the Fajr prayer, Zainab openly announced in the mosque that she had granted protection to Abu al-As. The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him respected her decision and ensured protection of his son-in-law during this time in Medina. Abu al-As was overwhelmed by the magnanimity and truthfulness of Islam and realized that the blind state of ignorance in which he was living had misled him for a long time. He realized he wanted to enter the fold of Islam willingly, without any coercion, but he did not do so yet. His Arab gallantry and tribal prides were he did not want his proclamation of Islam to be attributed to any influence or pressure. He would not want anyone in Mecca to claim that he accepted Islam for the love of his life and fear of death. Also, 
he had properties of people in his trust. If he remained in Medina and announced his Islam there, people would say that he wanted to escape from giving the trusts to whom they were due. Therefore, he returned to Mecca, returned the trust to whom they were due, and then finally proclaimed Islam in the assembly of Quraysh. After that, he migrated to Medina as a Muslim. Upon his arrival, the Messenger of Allah peace upon him reunited him with Zainab, and they lived happily for a year. Zainab bint Muhammad died in the beginning of the fifth year of Hijrah. Thanks for watching, friends.